One day, you're missing your childhood friend and really want to be with them. So you make a phone call, plan a vacation, and meet them. Now imagine this. You're really missing your childhood friend, but you have no way to contact them. Days pass, but that longing does not. And then suddenly one day, your doorbell rings, and it is that friend at your door. This occurrence is rare, but it does happen to us. Now imagine an even rarer scenario. The friend you're longing for for days and months one day is in your house. And when in utter shock you ask them how they got here, the answer is they've always been here and you've never left your hometown. This almost never happens to most of us, but almost does not mean it can never happen. And if it does happen, what would we call it? A miracle, science fiction, magic, or manifestation? Watch this video to understand the levels of manifestation and subscribe to the channel to experience more such videos. The truth is, all these three scenarios are different levels of manifestation. We just don't have the tools to access all of them. Our default setting in this physical world is to live in the first stage of manifestation and to be skeptical of the advanced stages that we cannot access yet. It would be discouraging to see even a well-renowned mystic to speak ill of manifestation and law of attraction. Being a skeptic of phenomenon that isn't ingrained in our modern understanding, our reality is a default after all. But just being skeptical doesn't mean we give up on everything that doesn't fit in our modern mechanical understanding of the world around us. And to fully understand and appreciate the concept of manifestation, we need to go through it step by step. The first stage of manifestation is what everyone believes in. It is basically a linear path to our desires. If you want something, you draw a mental path of achieving and working through all the steps that stand in the way to achieve it. This is the story we all tell ourselves in the modern world. If you want something, work hard to achieve it. Manifesting a desire into reality following the laws of Newtonian understanding of the world isn't an alien concept. This is the worldview of the universe etched into our brains for centuries. But what is important to note here is that this understanding of the world is outdated, and science itself has passed by this view of the reality. Modern science backs up the concept that we are not just one reality. There are multiple realities existing simultaneously. Today is the age of quantum physics, which rejects the notion of matter and goes deep into the subatomic level of each component of life and proves that everything consisting in this universe has multiple realities, and all those realities are based in energies. It is a highly accepted theory that multiple universes exist in multiple parallel universes. What it means is that whatever our life is at this point, multiple variations of that life exist simultaneously. So the question then arises, where are these parallel realities and how can we access these realities effectively? It might be hard to believe, but with each choice in our life, we create a new segment of reality diverging from our path. And if we truly desire, we can access those fragmentations of our reality. For example, when we break off a romantic relationship and venture into a new one, we believe that our old relationship is ended. But actually, there is a reality in which that old relationship is still continuing. That old relationship had all the possibilities of growing and culminating into a family. And just because we chose a different path in one reality doesn't mean that there is no way to visit the other reality in which that relationship still exists. Our version of reality is the story we tell ourselves day and night. And just because we're refraining from telling the other story doesn't mean that that story has no possibility of existing. Most of the people at this point might be thinking that this is just some spiritual hocus-pocus that has no practical possibility. But just because we cannot see something at this moment 
doesn't mean it is impossible. Deadlifting 500 pounds seems impossible to a beginner who has never been to a gym. Drawing a masterpiece landscape seems unfathomable to a person who cannot draw a tree. Playing a Beethoven symphony is an unachievable task to a person touching the piano keys for the first time. Similarly, achieving the advanced stage of manifestation seems like a hoax to someone who only believes and relies on one possible reality. Altering your reality by mere power thought seems impossible, but that doesn't mean that it is. See it this way. There are hundreds and thousands of radio frequencies around you all the time. But if you're listening to one radio channel, you can only hear that channel. It doesn't mean that there is only one channel in the air. What it means is that you're tuned in to one particular frequency. In other words, your energy is being channeled for one particular energy. But if you learn to change and adapt to new frequencies, you can switch between channels anytime you want. The key is to let go of our notions of what is real and what is not, and start channelizing your energy, and accepting that energy is what is real in this universe, and many people already know how to do it. The key to truly unfolding your inner ability to manifest your desires in the discipline in your belief and understanding that the physical you doesn't matter. What matters is the energy within you and your consciousness, the same energy that is one with the entire universe. Now, believing in achieving a career or fulfilling a wish might still be digestible to some people, but existing in multiple realities still seems far-fetched. But if you look closely, the advancement of science and technology has already achieved that goal and is putting us closer to that reality. We already exist in multiple realities through our social media and our virtual avatars. We can already manifest multiple sides of our personalities across multiple social media platforms. And with the advancement in AI, soon we will be able to create actual, physical, multiple versions of ourselves. The laws of manifestation only state that we truly can exist in multiple realities and make many possibilities true all at once without an attachment of technology to it. What technology is proving is that we need to separate ourselves from this idea of our physical self and focus much more on our virtual consciousness and energy. And that is exactly what manifestation is without the involvement of intrusive tech. It is to increase the belief in our particular idea and desire, let go of our physical being, and truly experience it happening through our energy and consciousness. It is the power of manifestation that we sometimes meet a person looking for someone to hire when we're desperate for a job. It is the belief in manifestation that makes way for us to gain that promotion we were after. It is that high level of manifestation that led Jesus to turn wine into water, and it could be through manifestation that we may find in the backyard of our friend's house when we are truly longing for them to meet us. Manifestation and the true belief in the concept is the missing link between our desires and their actuality, and through true belief and hard practices of expanding our consciousness, we can make them a reality. And if this video has been helpful to you, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get your daily dose of all things positive, leading you to manifest your dreams and desires.